Hey, welcome. We are going to tie up here a nice little uh, winter steelhead nymph. Um, I say winter steelhead. Come on now. This is, yeah, I think by now, if, if you've watched any of the, the stuff that I do, I'm of the opinion that yeah, there's some things that are sort of summer, and there's some things that are sort of winter, but doggone it, these fish, you know, if you get the right circumstances, um, summer, winter, if you've got a fishy fly, so I'm, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to get this on here. I don't want my thread to show much. It's okay if it does, certainly, because I've got, this is a little hot spot back here. Anyway, summer, winter, it's steelhead fly. And so, does that mean only steelhead would take it? Of course not. Trout would take this um, as well. So I've got some fluorofiber. A little hot spot there. And this is going to, this is a size 10, barbless. And you'll, you'll, you'll see me, you know, I've been tying salmon flies and, and larger steelhead flies so much that I I struggle. My eyesight isn't <laughs> what I'd like it to be. Uh, so I, if you see me slowing down and you see some little edits in here, that's okay. Just keep in mind you're not the only one that ever has these issues. So this is a uh, kind of an imitative, impressionistic. We always like to play with what are the fish thinking when they take this fly. So when we, well, if we're fishing this in the winter or in the spring, there's every likelihood that there are going to be. You could have uh, could have other fish spawning. Have salmon or steelhead or whitefish perhaps spawning, uh, brown trout, depending on what waters you're in. The fish may be seeing some eggs uh, tumbling about in the rivel uh, in the rills in the riffles, or you might not, and um, you might see some little chunks of decaying fish going by. Uh, it might just be the bright colors. It's, uh, who's to say? But what this, this, um, of course this is a size 10 barbless uh, jig hook. We've got a, a f uh, 5 30 seconds bead on it. I happen to choose a kind of a metallic hot pink here. I've got a dubbing spinner here somewhere. Got a couple of them, but you never think I'd find them when I need them. So I kept the rear body kind of uh, sparse so that I can uh, make the thorax area a bit thicker. So we really don't know what the steelhead's going to think this is, but that doesn't really matter. What does matter is that the steelhead takes this, and I didn't wrap that around my thread. I could have done that, but you know, this is going to be good. And I've chosen a, uh, a hot, like this is a flow orange thread. Got a bright bead. The bead's pink, the thread's orange. It gives you a couple of bright colors. And uh, I've got a hot spot on the tail, and since I don't really know where that thread broke, I'm going to make sure I could have pretended that I knew it was okay, but I didn't. 
So what we've got here is a kind of a cream colored um, nymph. And I'm going to pick out that thorax a little bit. We've got a hot spot in the back of the fly. We've got a hot spot in the front. We've got a lot of sparkle. We're going to have a little bit of movement, a little bit of wiggle. And it doesn't really matter what we say the fish think of this. What matters is, is that they take it. And I am confident that this is going to be a winner, a winner for a winter steelhead. Hope you have fun. Give this a try. Uh, experiment with some variations. Um, I think you'll like this fly. Thank you.